What's up you guys? It's your girl here, Fearless Misha, and I am going to show you a few simple steps how you get from this to this. Stay tuned. Okay, so first I'm going to start off with a pack of steak that I got from my local grocery store. And I believe I got that under $5. Not a big amount. But, um, you know, seasonings is, of course, your choice. But I like to use Larry Season Salt, some black pepper, some onion powder, and I also like to use some um a parsley flakes just for decoration because I like how it look you know when it's done and also use one onion so listen I'm gonna have to make this special announcement you guys police I repeat police do not season and cook your meat fresh out the packet police wash your meat I don't know where this meat been through Y'all don't know where it's been, who been touching it. Like, y'all don't know what happened. So, y'all need to make sure y'all wash and clean y'all meat before cooking it. So, that's the difference right there between un unclean meat and clean meat. You can just see the redness goes out of it a little bit. And it doesn't look so bloody. And it, it kind of loosens up a little bit. So, make sure y'all clean the meat. Now, me, like I said, seasoning is of y'all choice. But I like to use... um. Season salt or anything with salt first. I'm weird like that. I know. I put anything with salt first. So I'm using the season salt. Then I go ahead and put whatever seasonings I'm using. If it has any spices to it, I use that last. So just go ahead and do that. And right now, as you can see, I'm struggling opening the onion powder. But it's fine. I'll get there soon. Any day now, baby. Any day. Y'all don't know why I saying like I'm out of out of breath. So like I ran a mile. Oh, I need to lose some weight. Oh, she a little heavy hand. Oh, Jesus. Trying to kill people with the onion powder. I tell you. Now, I sometimes, I didn't do it this time. But sometimes I like to add the parsley flakes in while I'm, while I'm seasoning the meat. Before I cook it and after. So that way some of the parsley flakes can cook inside of it. But I didn't this time, but it still came out beautifully, as you saw before. So, what a, this, again, is of your choice. But I like to massage my meat before I cook it. So, after I season it, I just lightly massage the meat. Make sure all the seasonings get into the middle. And, you know, make sure that every bite I take, I taste all the seasonings that I put in it. You know, I just like, like I said, lightly massage it. Give it a good massage. Just know. Just know. Make it feel good. And I just turn it over and just repeat the steps. And that's basically it. Nothing really special. This is how I make mine. So, you guys don't have to follow this recipe. And like I should, like you said before, also, instead of using oil, I use um butter. And I pretty much use... I want to say a half a stick of butter to cook my steak. And that's, yeah, I use like a half a, a half a stick because I like it to have a little juice in it. I don't like it to be dry or anything. So I just use a little bit, um, a little bit more than usual. And I don't, I don't like to use any vegetable oil or any type of oil. I just use butter. I feel like butter works perfectly fine. No problem. And... It gets the job done. So now, what I should have been doing was heating up my pot, but I wasn't. And also, make sure y'all wash our hands frequently. So I'm going to go ahead and put the butter in the pan. So I'm starting off with maybe, I'm not measuring it. Y'all know people, they say, oh, you don't measure any type of things you do when you're cooking. You just put as much as you think is enough. Until you hear your ancestors in the back of your ear saying that's enough for my child. So, and I'm sorry about the camera angles. I was trying to do this by myself. Oh, help. So, excuse this. So, now I'm going to go ahead and cut the onion. And, y'all, I'm horrible at cutting. So, forgive me. Like, 
But what I like to do with onions, I find it easier to cut it in half first and then peel it. So that's how I figured that it'd be easy. So that's my way. Everybody have their own ways of cooking and doing things, but yeah. And like I said, I was supposed to do it cutting in half, but it ain't worked out that way. Like I said, I'm horrible at cutting. So it is what it is. Now, I don't like to dice up my onions. I like big chunks of onions because that is my favorite. So, I pretty much cut it into, I kind of want to say cube sizes. Nice sizes so it can have, when you cut up the steak, every steak has a nice chunk of onions on it. And I also don't like to overcook my onions. I like to saute my onions. So, as you're going to see in the next clip, I'm going to be, you know cooking the steak i let the steak cook halfway before i put the onions oh lord the onions making her cry oh she good jesus so sensitive she act like she can't cut onions y'all but yeah like you see here my steak i like my steak well done and you know thin steaks don't take too long to cook so i go ahead and i uh, flip it over i just put it in the, in the pan like i want to say two minutes ago and look at that it's already pretty much cooked on one side so at that time i go and my and my stove oh yeah it's it's on um high because i like to hear him cook my food so i can hear me doing i don't like cooking i only cook sometimes but at this time i go ahead and add the onions and let that start sauteing and cooking and make sure that the flavors get into the steak and I'm also going to add some more butter because, like I said, I like to add some more juice so I can put over my steak. I don't like dry steak. So, this makes the steak extra juicy. And everything else is pretty much self-explanatory. So, I hope you guys like this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this of me, just comment down below. Let me know what type of videos y'all want to see. And also, if you're not already, subscribe to my channel to get more updates and more videos about me and my life. And I hope you guys enjoy.